What is up guys, Michael here from Michael Alexander Photography. And in today's video, we're gonna check out Actions 14 again, also known as Skin Depth Pro. But what if I told you, you don't only need to use it to edit skin? Let me explain, come closer. So the way the Skin Depth Pro works, it is essentially a great color grading program or action for editing skin. It's fantastic in the way that you can actually control the different shades of light in the skin tones namely shadows, midtones, and highlights. You've seen this before, haven't you? You've seen it in Photoshop and also in Lightroom and probably many other programs. Do you remember the three wheels from Lightroom when you're looking to do some color grading? The ones that control the shadows, midtones, and highlights? Yes, you have. So that is essentially what Skin Depth Pro does, but it focuses on skin. But how can we apply that to the whole photo? Let me show you. So now we're back in Photoshop and we're going to be editing this lovely bridal shoot that I did on the beach. And as you guys can see, it was hella windy. So that was very, very tough to get some really cool photos, which we luckily managed to do. But you're here for editing. So let me show you Skin Depth Pro for color grading. All right. So now that we've created our Skin Control Pro layer stack or Skin Depth Pro layer stack, I want to show you guys what we are going to be doing. So the way Skin Control Pro or Skin Depth Pro works is it isolates the skin tones with the help of color range. But we don't want that. We don't want to isolate the skin tones. We want to start playing with the whole photo. So the way we're going to do that is you're going to go to the top here, the, the folder that controls the whole image. And as you guys can see, we've got a layer mask there. Now that layer mask affects the skin tones. And a little bit over here, but that's what it does. It selects within that skin tone range. But we don't want that. We want to control the whole image. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the top here. We're going to take that. Now there's two ways of removing a mask. You can either do that by pressing backspace or you can drag it down to the bottom here where that little dustbin is, which is easy as just picking it up and putting it down there and then saying delete. There we go. It is gone. Now we will be affecting the whole image with Skin Control Pro or Skin Depth Pro. And we can get some really cool color grading because we can really now isolate where the colors are going to be affected. So let's start with shadows. And there we go. Like normal, we'll see it's going to open up a color picker layer. And I'm just going to put it down here just to be out of the way. And we're going to start playing with the sliders. Now, I definitely recommend just clicking on brightness, saturation, and hue, and just controlling the slider right here that just goes up and down. I think you just will be the most accurate this way rather than using the color picker and trying to get very accurate results like that. I prefer just using the slider because then I can really control the amount of saturation, the amount of brightness and the, the U that I want in the area. So let's, I want it to be kind of maroony red, you know, just up here by the purples. And as you see, nothing's been affected yet because we still need to control the brightness and the saturation. So we're going to go to brightness and we're going to pull it up. And then we're going to go to saturation and we're going to pull that up. Now, I normally like putting it up as high as possible when it comes to the saturation, just so I can start seeing what areas are being affected. Now, the thing is, with a lot of editing and stuff like that, it first needs to go bad before it's going to go good. So we're going to start playing around a bit. We're going to pull this down so we can just see we just have that hint of red. So now if you pull it all the way down to black, it's just going to be the original image. No color will be affected. So you do need a little bit of brightness to start adding the color into the blacks. And if you feel like it kind of gives it a little bit of a flat look, don't worry, we'll control that in a little bit. So we're going to pull this down a little bit. We don't want it too, too strong. Maybe even add a bit more red. I kind of give this image a little bit of a much warmer feel. So let's stick with that for now. We'll play with it later if needed, but I think we're at a good point now to move on to midtones. So double click on that. Again, color pick a layer. And let's see where this one takes us. Again, we will have to control it with the saturation. We will have to play around with the saturation a little bit. Um, that will control the amount of color that and the, the intensity of the color in the image. So we kind of got this brown look right now. It's a little bit gross. I don't like playing with the brightness when it comes to uh, the midtones because I've, because it's the midtones. I want to keep the brightness in that kind of midtone range. You'll see if we move it up and down, it will go very dark or very bright. Now you can add 
like this image, it does look a little bit nicer. So we might actually move it up a little bit. But again, you don't want to go too far because you'll end up hurting the image. But we'll keep it at 50. I don't like playing around. Maybe we'll move it up a little bit. So now let's have a look at where we want the image to be affected. I think I kind of want it again here at the little bit of the orange department because like I said, I want it to be a nice and warm image. And we'll control it by the saturation. Like you see, got a very, very warm looking right now. So let's leave it there. Let's go to highlights. Again, we're going to be playing the whole time. Highlights, it's very important to note the brightness slider. I don't think we're going to do too much on the highlights department because I want that bright white highlight. So now let's do some of the rest of the adjustments. And those are the ones here at the top. We're going to control the shadows. We switch that on. As you see, immediately, remember when I said it looks a little bit flat? Now it doesn't anymore because now we are pushing back down the blacks. So we're still having that color being affected, but we're still getting that nice contrasty black color. And then the highlights, that's a bit much. So we are just going to adjust it a little bit here with the levels adjustment. Because this is already a very bright image. And there we go. Now we can also add a little bit of desaturation down there. Just bring it a little bit back. It will just make the image a little bit more punchier. Now we already have a somewhat color graded image. Let's play around a little bit more with the midtones. I think the image is a little bit brown. So let's see if we can find a bit more of a compromise. Ooh, maybe up here in the pinky reds. Down here in the yellows. Yellow reds. Ooh, yeah, let's go a little bit over there. So now we've got a very nice warm feel to the image. And we did all of that with Skin Depth Pro, or Skin Control Pro. We just effectively did a whole color grade and it's very similar to using the wheels that you'll see in Lightroom. But what I like about this is you've got a lot more control. The wheels, you tend to have to slide it up and down. I love having these different level sliders that I can see. I can control the intensity of the brightness. I can choose it between one to 100%. I can choose the intensity of the saturation from one to 100%. And I can choose the U range exactly where I want it just by some sliders. Whereas in Lightroom and other formats that, ha that have that circle little thing. I just don't like that. It's a little bit too all over the show for me personally. I like having that extra bit of control that we can really hone in on the color grade that we're looking for. You can also play a little bit with the master side or the HSL adjustment here. If you feel like we just need to kind of correct it in certain different ways, just here and there to get to where we want it to be. And pretty much you can slide it all over the show. You'll see it just affects the image. Normally, I would recommend not going too far. It's normally made for you to just adjust a tad bit so it doesn't go too overboard. Like this is that classic teal and orange, very teal sky and very orange skin. It's a little bit much. Or we can go a little bit the other way where we get a little bit more yellows in the skin. I prefer that. I think we got a bit more depth over there. I think the teal and orange look is a little bit overdone by now. But that is essentially it. You can use Skin Control Pro to color grade or create a whole color grade for an image. And then before, after. What's nice is if you think it's a little bit much, which it is, you can push it down. We're going to push it down to about 70% opacity. And there we go. Whole color grade. I think that is a nice balance of where the image came from to where it is now. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's a little bit of a different one especially because we're using uh, action that was primarily designed for you to control the skin tones a little bit more and we are now affecting a whole image. I thought it was a little bit fun and I thought this would be really cool to share for people that just want to find a way to get a little bit uh, better at color grading and have a little bit more control. There are many ways to do color grading. This is just potentially one of them. So definitely have a look, play around. If you guys are using Skin Depth Pro and you've actually tried this method, uh, tag MVP, share us and tell us how it felt, how, um, how you enjoyed it. And definitely, yeah, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, anything that I can answer in the future with some future videos. Okay. But that is it for today, guys. Definitely like and subscribe and do all those cool things that YouTube definitely likes. And we'll see you in the next video. So yeah, keep updated on some more MVP products that are coming in the future.